Hello folks, welcome to the channel with myself, Al Pal. Here we are with another new one for you. This is Moon Farming. Um, now this is a prologue. Um, I did actually download Moon Farming a few days ago. Well, but a week ago now, I'll do a, a polymer jars. I just totally forgot all about it. Um, but I've just noticed that they've got the prologue available and it reminded me that I've actually got the other one downloaded anyway. So I thought, well, I've just put Glade up there for you, a new game. I'll do a back-to-back -back for you, another new one. Um, and this is Moon Farming. Uh, tired from the same farming games on Earth, now take on a new role of a super modern farmer on the moon. Explore new farming possibilities in a new moon environment. Prepare land on moon for your base and vertical farming inside of it. For sure, it will be farming like never before. I thought that sounds pretty good. I like the sound of that. So I thought, well, let's see what you guys think. So if you want to see more of this, tell the time at the like button. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And um, let's jump in. So I've done all the settings. Uh, this is the prologue version of Moon Farming. Final version will have more features, build plants. Oh, build parts to apologize. Build parts, plants, bases, and much more. Uh, if you like our game, then support us by clicking the like button below and wishlisting on Steam. Um, I'll put a link in the description for this as well. Just to make it a bit easier for you. Uh, right. Let's go in. New game. Start game. Now I haven't done anything with this. So this is new for me. The moon. The brightest and largest object in our night sky. The moon makes Earth a more livable planet by moderating our home planet's wobble on its axis, leading to a relatively stable climate. We visited the moon half a century ago, and have not been back since. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. But there is still so much we don't know about the moon. We still aren't totally sure how the moon formed. still a lot of moon rocks left to analyze. We learned that water exists on the moon. But we don't know exactly how much. Are we ready to visit moon again? Are we ready to set up a colony for humans? We believe that this time has come. Mission control, the bird has landed. Welcome to the moon, it's a whole new experience on this planet. You'll get used to it in no time. Well, not like you have a choice. You're stuck there for the rest of your life. <laughs> okay, okay. I am kidding. Huh? Right. I'm sure you were briefed on the reason you have to come to the moon for. But such a long time in the spaceship might have caused you to forget so, I'll give you were sent here to build a colony for humans so that in the future we can populate and live on other planets and the moon. To accomplish this purpose you have to build a self-sustaining infrastructure that can manage the basic life support systems. Okay. You also need to collect enough resources such as food, water, oxygen and raw materials and store them. 
I know that you are only a farmer and most of the things I just talked about are not in your area of expertise but technology is ever evolving. You'll have all the resources at your disposal, you just have to go through the tedious task of mining them and processing them into useful materials. We also have some other bases from older expeditions with some useful resources in them, don't worry, the owning countries of other bases won't sue you for taking their stuff, in fact they volunteered their bases for the sake of humanity. No, so Finally, the most important part of your job, farming. You were selected because you were one of the best farmers on earth. Oh, you know, it's, it's nothing. Now then, let's get started. So, for all humans to survive on the moon, you will need to have basic stuff like water, air, and food. Correct? For that reason, we need to cover those needs. We have an old base not far from here. You can use a rover near you to drive to that old base. Don't worry, you can drive as fast as you want. We don't have police radars here yet. <laughs> oh, brilliant. We get to go in a little buggy. Oh, and you can press the T key to show the waypoints. Uh, keep an eye on your hunger, water, and oxygen levels. Uh, food, water, oxygen, stam, health. Uh, if the levels drop to zero, you start to lose health and will eventually pop your clogs. Uh, you'll replenish your stats by consuming the appropriate item. Oh wow, it's a little bit. Okay. That's a lot better. Right, so press T. Oh, you can turn them on and off by pressing T. Alright, so get in Rover. Alright, there's their ship. Can we take anything out of this? No. Oh, look, this is absolutely fantastic. This is... You gotta do it, ain't you? You just gotta do it. <laughs> Brilliant. So we've got to gather resources and that. Oh wow! Check that out. Now, so this this is the first time I've been in this game, so I'm seeing it just like you guys are the first time. That is awesome. Wow, what a bit of kit! Look at the wheels. Right, oh. Oh, I see. Stand in the vehicle. Alright, well, we want to go drive. Stand in the vehicle. Door? Is that, that that one, I suppose? Oh, I'm in. Oh, check the wheels out. Fantastic. Go as fast as you like. We're flat out. Let's just go up here. I know we're going the wrong way. I'm just having a little butchers over the top here, guys, just to see what's... Well, there's no, there's no nightclubs around here. There's no pubs. There's no cafes. There's nothing, really. It's a bit of a shit hole, isn't it, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm quite excited for when this game comes out. Uh, reach the base. Okay. So you can press T and just switch it all off if it's a pain in the arrows for you. Uh, what about these things here? Can we... Pick these up, what are they? They're just rock. Oh, wow, there's loads of them. Can we just, um, no, you can't do anything. Okay, oh, you've got to go by the door, makes sense, I suppose, doesn't it? Oh, just once. Press it once. Okay. 600 metres. Okay. I, just, I wanted to check what they were. I mean, I know they're bits of meat, right, that's crashed in. And I don't know if we could sort of harvest anything, but... No, we can't. I'm loving this buggy, though. So, the views... How do we, um... Can we change the views? Sorry guys, I don't normally do this, but I just want to... Um... Pick up P. 
Oh. Quick slots. Raise, build, part, reload, sprint. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. Toggle camera view V. Okay. No, it's doing nothing. Okay, all right, we'll have a look in a bit. It's not urgent. Oh, so you can roll the mouse wheel. And... That is fantastic. That is absolutely brilliant. Loving that one. Oh, and there it is. Oh my God, don't conk out on me now. Come on. You serious? Is that mine? Oh, hang on. This stuff here as well. Look. This is the old base from our last trip to the moon. Still, it is in good shape, and you can find some nice stuff inside of it. And yeah, I bet you are wondering why this Cybertruck is here. Well, one of the famous technical guys from Earth has a hobby of shooting different cars into space. That's why one of his cars landed here. And yes, now, Oops. get inside and use the computer to contact me. The signals will be much stronger that way. Alright, so you open the door. Up the stairs and open the door. Shut the door. Okay, got it. I, I gotta, I gotta do it. Wait. Oh wow! Doesn't make a sound though, does it? It's a bit. It's got no engine sounds. I think it's going to be quite a good game, this one. Okay, can we pick shattered glass? Oh, we can. What is that? There's another bit. I don't know, we need some tool for that, I think. There's loads of it though, it's all over the place. Okay. So the view button doesn't work outside either. Well, we'll just grab a couple more bits. And we're taking them in with us. Maybe we store them in there or something. Or oh, is a little mass collection around here. Right, let's get in. I just wanted to pick a little bit up and just to um, I don't know. Maybe when we get inside, there's something we can do with it. I don't know. Beaten up on it. Alright, okay, let's get in. Oh, there's some more here. Right. What's that? Oh, it's a light. Okay. Right, open door. Close door. And lock. Okay. Storage. Oh, it's got some water on it. All right, and all my crystals as well. Okay. Um, can we take? Oh. That's good. All right, let's talk to the Glad commander. To see that you've made it safely to the base. Here is some food, water, and oxygen. They should keep you going for a while. First things first, you need to set up some basic life support systems. 
Uh, food? We didn't get food. We picked some water up, didn't we? That's all we got. Let's start with the solar panel. Solar panels will absorb the sunlight, convert it into usable energy, and store it in batteries. Really? <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> you have to three things to keep in mind when about a solar panel. Glass is going to be needed for the solar panel, isn't it? Surely. Number one, always place solar panels where the sunlight can hit the glass panes, or else it won't generate any batteries. I, I expect there's some people that wouldn't do that, though. Number two, solar panel takes some time to collect enough energy to store in a battery, so be patient. You can always see how much time is required for battery from your heads-up display by standing close to a solar panel. Number three, solar panel has a storage compartment that is used to store batteries. Once the battery is generated, it can be retrieved from the storage compartment. Come and talk to me when you're done, or do you want me to explain again? Good luck. Okay, search container. And there's the solar panel. Okay, two ways to place a build part. Drag and drop the build part from your inventory to a quick slot and use the quick slots. One to eight to show the placement projection. Or open the action menu by pressing the right mouse button and select place. Okay. Solar panel added to inventory. All right, there it is. So we can just put that. Oh, we got. Oh, we have got food. Okay, I'll take that back. Oops. So we can just put it up there like that. Oh, I see. Okay, so let's go and shove that outside. Oh, the door don't open. You stand right in front of it out. Why does it have to open inwards? The size of them wheels, they're meaty, aren't they? Mighty meaty, matey. Okay, um, so, well, there's the, um, there it is. Press R to rotate. Oh, you literally have to press it a million times. I've gone over and on. Oh, come on. Why can't you just hold the R button? That's it. It's bang on it. Right, so if I put that... I don't want to go too far from the base, but I'm guessing that would be pretty damn good. Search container. 114, 13, 12. Okay. Uh, talk to the commander. It's got its lights on that thing. Is that? Can we turn that off? Come on, blimey, don't you get window cleaners out here. Disgusting, that is. Slobs. Okay. Excellent. Now you need to build the water extraction machine. Okay. Do you know that there is water on the moon? Yeah. If you don't believe me, check Wikipedia when you get back to Earth. <laughs> okay. By the way, do you know, why does water never laugh at jokes? It isn't a fan of dry humor. Um, let's move on, shall we? Enough jokes. Now on to building a water extraction machine. A water extraction machine will extract water from the moon's surface. The water that is extracted contains dirt and other harmful materials, so it can't be used as it is. For now you need to keep four things in mind for water extraction. Number one, in order for them to work they need to be placed on the moons. Number two, just like solar panels, it takes some time for a water extraction machine to extract water. Number three, once water has been extracted, 
it will be stored in the storage compartment of the water extraction machine. Number 4, the water which is extracted is not usable but I'll explain. Now go and build that water extraction machine. Report back when you're done, or do you want me to good luck? Do you want me good luck? There it is, water extraction. Done it. Right, let's go. Go oh, in and out like a fiddler's bleeding elbow I am. Keep clear of the door. Jolly good game. I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm having a blooming field day here. Um, oh, hang on, keep me on the levels. Well, the food's going down slowly, isn't it? We're all right there. The water's well, not even halfway yet, so we're fine. Uh, right, so I suppose we can put this anywhere. Uh, well, I'm thinking about putting it over here because then we've just come down the steps and it's there, isn't it? Um, should we put it there or just in case the web was a bit bad, you know? Oxygen tank. Oh, it is working. Okay, so where's this thing over here? Is there any action out this year? Oh, look. 36. Oh. Okay. I'm guessing that we can, if we pick this glass up, maybe we could do something with it? I mean, solar panel is going to be made out of glass, isn't it? It's going to have some, it's going to have a glass front on it. I don't know how long we can be out of here like this. So I'm just going to grab that little bit there and get back in quick. Oh. Oh. My little boot is on. you got to have a jump, haven't you? you just got, you just got to do it. It's great. I mean, the graphics, are, it looks pretty good as well. Pretty tidy. Um, I want to harvest some of this other stuff, but I think we're going to need a new tool for that. Uh, right, let's go and talk to her again. God, bro, I'm getting fed up with that, these bloody doors. Okay. It's got to be an oxygen thing, isn't it? Great. While the machines produce the resources, you can build a water filtration plant. Oh. As I briefly mentioned before, the water from the water extraction machine is unusable. Yeah. In order to make it drinkable and usable for farming, it needs to be filtered. That's where the water filtration plant comes in. Really? One thing to keep in mind is that it needs to be placed inside a structure to work. The temperature of the moon is not suitable for filtration. I'll explain how to use this machine later. For now, go and place a water filtration plant. Come back and talk to me when you're done or you need a good luck. Or you need a good luck. A water filtration plant. Okay. Right, so... Where, do we, where are we going to put this thing? She said to put it in the... I thought she said something to put it in there. I can't remember what she bloody said now. Well, I'm not sure about this, but... Can we put it in there? You can't.
we got to build it. Do you know, I'm just on my way back in. And I remember I was saying about it's got to go. It's because of the temperature, it's got to go in. So it's got to go in here. There we go. I've overlooked it, all right? Too much on my mind at the moment. Um, I don't know, where should we put it? Quite a size, isn't it? Um, in the corner? I would have thought you would put it with the water. That's why I automatically went outside, because I would have thought it would extract it and then filter it at the same time. That's why I put it in it. I mean, it let me put it in it, didn't it? It did go in there. What do we do when that battery's full up? Can we take that out? Good job. Good job. Next up is the oxygen extraction machine. Okay. Just like the water filtration machine, it needs to be placed inside a structure to work. Okay, indoors, gotcha. Oxygen extraction machine will extract breathable oxygen from dirty water. Right. I'll teach you how to use this machine later. For now, place it and report back when you're done. Uh, where is it? Oxygen extraction machine. Okay. Um, stick it over here. Keep these two nasties together. Um, so, oh, the battery. So, does, do we take the battery out of that then? Maybe make another battery and then put it in there and take that one that's full out and use that in here? I don't know. Maybe it's got its own battery built in. So, we need power for both of them. Okay. Um, how are we looking, actually? We, we need a little drink, don't we? How do we do that? Just press number one. Dude, do, do, do you have to do that? Do you really, really have to slurp the shot out of it? My God. Um, our oxygen is not looking good. Now that you've placed the basic life support systems, you need to know how to use them. Uh, oxygen first, if you can. Solar panel gives you batteries that can be used to power up different machines. Right, that's what I thought just now, yeah. You need batteries to power up water filtration and oxygen extraction machines. Roger. Both the machines have two storage compartments. Yep. In both the machines, first storage compartment is for dirty water and the second storage compartment is for batteries. After you have inserted the battery and dirty water, you can power up the machines. Each battery lasts only a while and once it runs out the machine will power off. You can place multiple batteries in the battery compartment. Machines will automatically consume a battery when the current one runs out. The machines won't automatically power off when the conversion is complete. You should check up on them from time to time to ensure that you make the most of your batteries. Collect four drinkable water bottles and four oxygen tanks then report back to me. Four water bottles and four oxygen tanks. Yeah, we've got that. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Moonshell. Right. Collect four water bottles and four oxygen tanks. Well, yeah, we've got them. They're, they're there. So, open. So, um,
Is that what we've got to do? Where's the battery? The, ba the battery's in there, isn't it? There isn't anything that goes in this thing. I just want to keep an eye on that. No, there is more of that, though. Let's put that in. Well, 83 of them. Okay. Want me to explain again? Huh? No. no. Solar panel given. You need batteries to power. Both the machines have two storage. In both the machines, first storage compartment is for dirty water and the second storage compartment is for batteries. Yeah. After you have inserted the battery and dirty water, you can power up the machine. Each battery lasts only a while and once it runs out the machine, you can place multiple batteries in the battery compartment. Yeah. The machines won't automatically power up. You should check up on them from time to time. Yeah. Collect four drinkable water bottles and four oxygen tanks then report back to me. Right, Good okay. luck. So what was that I put in there then? I think we should take them out. I don't want to get told off my first day. Let's go and have a little butchers. Oh. I keep forgetting about that bloody distance thing. So. Water bottles are probably going to be in here, aren't they? There we are, we've got five. Um, the oxygen tanks. Damn, but that's going to be in the other one in there. But I want to see if there's any batteries in this thing. So I want to have a little look while I'm here. There's seven. Get hell, Morris. There we are. Now we get the other one. It's four water bottles and four oxygen tanks. Well, we've got it. Four oxygen tanks. Dirty water. Water bottle. And we've got four water bottles. Want me to explain again? No. Huh? Solar pan. You need battery. Both them in both the machines. After you have each battery lasts, you can place multiple batteries. The machines won't automatically. You should check up on them from time to time. Collect four drinkable water bottles and four oxygen tanks, then report back to me. Good luck. What? Well, but I have, though. Oxygen tanks? Am I missing some here? There's nothing in there. And there's nothing in here, so... Water bottle. Oh, hang on. Dirty water. Doesn't matter where you put that, does it? Um, battery. I don't want all of them. Oh, well, there we go. So, battery. Battery. Dirty water. Isn't it dirty water? Clean water. Water bottle. I don't know. Let's just chuck it all in there. Dirty water. Water bottle. Dirty water. Okay. Well, that... It's going. Let's see what happens to that. Let's do this one. I think I'm jumping ahead of her, but... Let's split that. Let's put a couple of batteries in there. Breathable oxygen. Oh... Split. So we can put dirty water in there. Hmm. 
I haven't got no storage thing though, so I just want to see what it does. Um, there's two there, so if we split, let's put one in. Okay, let's take one out because this is the important one. Oh, it just automatically. Oh. Let's put that up there and then press number one. There we are. That's it. So, so that just does that on its own. And that's it. Now we can have a chat with her as well. And there's another four. Oh my god, I've got stacks of it coming out. Of course, we've got the water bottles. Which is all clean. We've got plenty of that. We've got ten of them. Wow, that's that's good. Um, does that and it turns off, she says, doesn't it? It doesn't turn off. Turn off. And there's, there's the battery for that. Yeah, that's great. That's good. Okay. Let's have a little. You are almost settled in. Yeah. Just one more thing and you'll have the basic life support systems up and running. <sighs> What's that? What have I done? Next up is the farming stations. This is the main reason for you being sent here. Let's get to planting some seeds. Don't try to smoke or eat them. They are for planting and only for planting. <laughs> Don't try to smoke them. <laughs> oh my God, that is brilliant. I do love the, the, the little bit of sort of the ad lib, the humour that's been slipped into it. It's great. I hope you've eaten as much meat as you could before coming here. Uh, because the only stuff you'll be eating, be eating are vegetables. Um, I don't know if you're vegetarian or not, but from now... You will need to become one to survive here. Let's just hope you don't die from that. The temperature of the moon is too cold for farming, so just like other machines, this one also needs to be placed inside a structure to work. Okay. They are very simple to use. All you need to do is to select a plant that you want to farm, then add sufficient water and harvest the plant when it's done. Okay. Now go, place three farming pots and harvest at least one plant. Come back and talk to me when you're done. Right. You can plant the seed by selecting the seed from the menu. Okay. Once the plant is ready, you can harvest it. Okay. Um, well, we've got to do that in here then, haven't we? Farming plot, right, that's the three. So, number two. Okay, let's go to this one. Interact. Um, so, we've got beet. Growth time, 61 seconds. Takes one water. Uh, cabbage, 66 seconds, one water. And we've got berries, 76 seconds. Where's the, um, where's the carrots then? Okay, all right. Um, well, let's go beetroot. Okay. And then this one. Uh, let's put a cabbage in. And this one we've got berries. Hopefully we've got enough water. Oh yeah, there they go. Starting to grow. Oh my god. Uh, 
and there's my little berries coming out. So we've got harvest one plant. So we've got to wait a minute. Then this is going to come up first, isn't it? Seven on countdown. So this is our beet beetroot, isn't it? So they go in here, and then we just go harvest. Gotcha. And we go to this one. There's no water left. Okay. What about these? Oh God, we ain't got any water. Um. Yeah, we haven't got any water. Okay, so we've got to go outside. Check this little beast. There we are. We've got five in there. Brilliant. And we're going to check, we're going to need some batteries as well, won't we? So, what a damn good game this is, isn't it? It's just, I love all the moon stuff anyway. That's why I saw it and I thought I've got to play that. And there's some building we can do as well. So, yeah, it's looking good. Right, so let's come into it here. Oh, no, 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 Rodney, what are you doing? Don't be a result. So we've got to come into here. Split. So dirty water. Uh, we're right for oxygen, aren't we? So we'll stick all of that in. And we've got three, three batteries there. And we'll just put them in there for now. That'll do, won't it? So we've got six there. Uh, okay, turn it on. Okay. Still got a battery in that one anyway. Okay, it's just slung eight out, so we take that. Let's go back to our little cabbage. And this one. Put four in there. That's it. Harvest. That's seven seconds on that one and we'll um <clears throat> we'll harvest that one as well. There we go. Beautiful. That's great. That is absolutely great. Um oh that's it. Turn it off. We're filling up in here quick, aren't we? Uh, so water bottle, okay. What's that? Containing water, okay. So there's no dirty water now. We're all—it's just all clean water. Okay, let's put that up there then. And um, we've got some oxygen. We'll keep that up there. And we've got a little bit of food. So we need a little drink. So we go number eight. There we are. And number six for food. There we are. We are tip top. I think we're doing very well. Um, so I think what we'll do is actually, though, guys, I think we'll leave it there for now. Um... Before we go and have a little banter with her, she's probably going to tell us off or do something, I don't know. Um, but if you want to see more of this, take the time to hit the like button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Um, I'll put a link in the description down below. So if you want to go and check it out for yourself, it is available on Steam. It's only the prologue demo. And have some fun with it. I, I think it's really, really good. But anyway, 
I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Till then, from myself, Al Pal, and Moon Farming, look after yourself, stay safe, and ta-da for now.